All right, welcome back. Uh, this is episode number 19, excuse me. I think I messed up the other thing, um, or the last episode. So this episode is played in two speed because it took me fucking forever to uh, get through this thing. There was a lot of stuff to look at. Um, basically, it was a short trip south to Vault 81 from uh, Oberlin. And today what we're going to be talking about is uh, Vault 81 and is it worth it to get in? Now you may be asking yourself, wait a second, does it cost anything? Now I heard early on in the game that you vault eight, someone was going to Vault 81 to stock up or restock. So I assumed it's like a trading capital or something similar. And being close to Diamond City... I feel like that was probably a good assum assumption on my part, um, but here's the catch, is they don't just let everyone in. Um, for Vault 81, and this will be your trivia, I'll make it early so you guys don't have to watch this if you don't want to. Um, to get into Vault 81, they require something from you um, to get in. and I assume if you have enough charisma, I failed the charisma check. So to get in, I had to pay three uh, fusion cores, and fusion cores are used to power your power armor, which uh, sucks pretty bad. They're pretty valuable. Um, you have to pay, I think, to buy them, they're like 500 a piece, which right now, maybe I should have more, maybe I should have less, but I would say I have about 1,500 bottle caps. So that would clean me out if I wanted to buy them back. Um, so yeah, what I did in this episode is I saved right before I traded in those fusion coils. Now for me personally, uh, well your trivia, here's your trivia specifically, is how many fusion cores does it take to get into Vault 81? Uh, you can get to this point right here without paying the fusion core so you can actually get in the vault you just can't get uh, past anywhere like else so you can't get through this door down here into the uh, other places so here's what we're discussing is whether it's worth it or not now early early in the game this is early for me in the game now later in the game maybe you carry around 10 or 12 fusion cores and it's really not that big of a deal um, but here here's what I would say the biggest draw to vault 81 is I believe you can change your appearance here now don't quote me on this because I don't know for sure but there is a guy and I'll show you in the video um, but we're talking about early on see I have two fusion cores that are worth 100 and this is what I'm talking about in the video is I'm trying to think of whether this is important enough to me to get into vault 81 now when I got into vault 81 there's really not much there looking back uh, I did actually level up while I was in there and I got another quest line but I don't think early on in the game, unless you are desperate for like a trader, that it's worth it. I don't think Vault 81 is worth it, uh, to be honest with you. Now this is, yeah, I accidentally shot this guy because I didn't, I thought they would take my weapons, but they just let me in here so that I could fucking kill them and then get my weapons back, I guess. I don't know. I just or my fusion coil sorry I don't know it's kinda weird but I I don't think it's worth it to go into vault 81 because there's it seems like there's very like it doesn't seem very deep I assumed that the woman the main woman would come up with a quest line for me and I haven't dug very deep but I tried to talk to the most of the people in the vault and nobody really had anything for me to do which I was sort of disappointed by I thought that there would be like a couple deep quest lines and so far it seems really vague about what exactly 81 is for maybe it's just kind of like a layout like here's 
here's vault 81 uh, use it if you want it or don't depending on what you like uh, I don't really feel like there is much to vault 81 the there is a merchant for food which is cool I guess uh, I guess the one thing that you can look forward to and I don't even know if they can heal you but there are a couple doctors in Vault 81. I didn't try to... You're supposed to follow this kid around. I actually ended up leaving him because... I don't know. I was a dick. Who knows? Uh, I do need to level up next, next, uh, next episode. So This should be out Friday. I think I'm going to double upload on Friday. Actually, it might be a triple upload. Because I have 17 up right now. I need to make a thumbnail for it. So maybe maybe you guys get a fucking triple upload today. Well, spoiler alert, this will be the last episode of the day. I guess it would be shorter because two of them are kind of commentaries. Um, but either way, yeah, sorry about this. I'll make sure in episode 20... Er, yeah, episode number 20, we're going back to our town, and we are going to, actually, let's, let's finish up Vault 81 before we go on to that. So, Vault 81, there's this lady, she has some, uh, ammo and some weapons that are not unique, but they are useful, I guess. So, basically, what I did, uh, is I spent a lot of time trying to get at least one of my fusion cores back. I didn't want to spend very much money. Uh, I think she ended up paying me a few hundred. But I gave her a lot of weapons, a lot of armor that I didn't need. A lot of, uh, like, mintats. Just, like, stuff I didn't really use but was worth a lot. Uh, I gave those to her because I didn't, I don't really need them. I don't really care for uh, a lot of the stuff like a lot of the useless stuff this is what I hate about RPGs but like what I try to do with my weapons is keep at least one weapon that shoots uh, different types of rounds so you can see me scrolling through my weapons a lot I try to make sure I have something that shoots 45 ammo something that shoots 44 ammo something that shoots 308 uh, 556 uh, you know just all types of ammo even an energy weapon so if it comes down to it and I run out of ammo I can switch guns and I'm not out of ammo so I'm always picking up ammo for you know different weapons and uh, it it keeps me on the heavy side but I think it's really important not so much in this game in this game you get a lot more ammo but in New Vegas it helped a lot where I would use a shotgun exclusively for like a couple hours and I would run out of ammo but in those couple hours I would gain five or six clips worth of ammo for the M4 All-American and I would be good to go for another couple hours so I think that was uh, for me that's just a tip for you guys maybe I'll make a video explaining why I do that um, yeah, so this lady, I spent a lot of time with her. There is a cafeteria that is extremely unexciting. There's a doctor's office. Like, you can sh share blood with a doctor. Not share, like, he takes your blood or whatever. That's pretty fucking generic. I thought he might have a quest line because people told me he was looking for me. I go down to the generator room eventually and talk to two people a brother and a sister one of them is addicted to jet I believe uh, I don't know yeah this is the food lady she was born and shit uh, I must fly through the rest of this because there's only a couple minutes left in the commentary I guess there's three minutes left so yeah, I, so far I don't think it was worth it to go into Vault 81 because I gave up probably about, mm, I, I, well, I guess two fusion cores and I got paid a little bit. So yeah, here's the guy. You can talk to him and at least get your hair cut. Now I 
may go back in here and see if you can like get your like face changed or something I don't know I assume that it's not too difficult but I will go back in and I'll see what happens uh, yeah here I'm just exploring looking for just something people to look at There's a classroom just I think the other thing that got me with this place was the fact that I came kinda late at night so I did get in but everyone's doing like the most random shit this is the brother and sister she's he is addicted to jet he was asking me he was gonna buy some actually at a pretty good price and she told me not to give him any so maybe you can do some like I don't know maybe if I had some jet I could maybe cause some problems within the vault who knows uh, after I get ta done talking to her, I end up going to the doctor and getting my blood drawn. And then I go try and talk to the overseer. And the overseer doesn't even say much. She doesn't... I don't understand what exactly Vault 81 is for. It's not like a super like cool trading post. Like There aren't like badass guns or like badass armor you can buy. It's just like really basic stuff. It's almost just like another town, like another small settlement. Now nah, I shouldn't say settlement. It's just like a small town, but there's nothing cool about it. like other than the fact that it's in a vault. There are zero reasons as to why to come here. If you use power armor in the game and you're still early on, I would not recommend coming here for the simple fact that giving up three fusion cores this early in the game, uh, if you don't like go farm them and look them up on the internet and stuff, like if they're super rare. Like I'm 10 hours into the game and I've only found two, I believe. So maybe I'm not looking in the right places and I'm not looking specifically for them, but I still feel like, damn, like that's that's some shit like I should be finding more of these if I'm gonna give them up like this and maybe the game like makes you understand hey if you wanna come in here think about this and I think this is probably one of the games like tougher decisions early in game so hopefully you guys uh, thought this video was a little bit more interesting I felt like I had a little bit more to talk about remember the trivia was how many fusion coils did I have to give up and it was three and I ended up actually getting one back so I'm not too worried but it does kind of suck and I don't think it's worth it and I honestly if I didn't level up and gain some experience from here uh, I on my second playthrough I will not come here unless I'm directed to uh, just for the simple fact that on my next playthrough I'll probably use power armor a lot more because I haven't in this playthrough at all. I constantly forget about it, and I just don't think that it's that useful for me. So, catch you guys on episode number 20. We'll go back to work on uh, Fort Bud Light. Peace.